Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Kamara Zero Spike back again once again. And today, people, today we're here for another episode of Rider Gush, the series where I talk about every Rider and Sentai that I have ever watched. And today, people, today is finally here. I went on ahead and did it, made sure I he, like this guy had to be next, y'all. He had to be next. We are on episode eight of Rider Gush, and today's episode is Kamen Rider Exedo. Now, Kamen Rider Exed definitely was the 2016 Rider that I loved a lot, and the whole concept, his whole concept, and everything was really, really good. His whole concept was like the Doctor, but you're also like the video game aesthetic and stuff like that and it was, it was a lot of Tekken references in this too like we played Tekken a lot in this uh show Tekken 7 I think yeah it was Tekken 7 we played Tekken 7 a lot in this series and um yeah this show really really was great it really I love the characters like it, the characters gave me the same feel as like a comrade of build would do how like after a while, like the characters were kind of frenemies or enemies at one point, but then like the the characters that do eventually become like really really good friends after a while, and that's what I loved about it. Like I love that you know we still got the same you know personality clashes and things like that, but these characters like our main our main cast really are just our main good writers and our you know the old you know the main like mc and things like that i want to say, i'm gonna say oc <laughs> but yeah these characters obviously becoming like good friends and things like that i love like the side content because there's so much content when it comes down to um XA. like everyone like just about everyone has their own thing going on everybody has like their own you know stories and morals and values and things that you know drive them as a writer and or drive them as a doctor you know things like that and i did really like that now emu at first seemed just kind of really bo really boring and he seemed like a typical he seemed like a typical uh mc for a while but you know he he, he was very simple like a lot of times the mc is a very simple minded or simple person and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being a little bit sim simple minded and a little bit you know bubbly and you know happy and, and passionate about you know what you want to do with yourself which was really cool and um yeah emus came off to me as kind of boring but i still after a while like i really really started to like him a lot i really did start to like him a lot and he may really really solidified himself as a really really cool like main character common writer and the ideas and the concepts and you know just the designs and a lot of the a lot of the things that X8, you know, ha had were like very, very standoffish and very, very unique. Like the designs of the writers were very unique. They were so colorful. They were so colorful and bombastic, and and you know they were they they stood out. You know they stood out in a crowd, and you know. XA really XA writers really did not look like common writers. You know they didn't have, you know, a lot of they didn't have some of the things that a, a common writer would have based on like base like based on the de design wise like the other writers have also done this as well but i feel like xa kind of really really stuck out the most when it comes down to just over just come down to, the, to their uh basic designs and things like that which was really really cool to me i love the the whole video game thing and a lot of these some of these games had really cool names and some of these games were actually real but some of them were also like japan exclusive games that i really like i really wasn't digging but i just i wanted some of these games and things and when it came down to like the story the story was very impactful it was very it was like it was very full of mystery and you know like it got deep and it got dark at some point at a you know at a lot of points especially when we start getting to like that last arc or like second to last arc especially with genmu and him being this over like this this over expressive you know super passionate I guess guy who became a villain if you could like you could say that but overall like he was one of the coolest like right like evil writer turned good guy back to being a bad guy to a degree like what are you gonna talk about what they do with him and outsiders 
Oh my God! He gets he, he gets a he gets a a, a freaking Muteki form, and he gets like a black and purple Muteki form. Like if you if you watch Outsiders, you know how much they have done with Genmu, and he got some well, he got some cool looking stuff. He got some major power ups, and his own like and some story and some stuff he was dealing with with homeboy from uh from homeboy from a uh, uh, zero one like him becoming a human gear at one point like it's a whole thing like he has his own you know story story you know like he was there <laughs> but um definitely some of my favorite character more like one of my like my favorite character in XA definitely had to be Kiria. um Kiria just seemed like he was just a cool calm cool he's like he's calm cool collective guy he kept a lot of secrets and stuff like that and you know him him being a bike at first him being a bike for a while was funny as hell to me and then yes he started getting like his own rider forms and things like that and actually started fighting fighting and i'm just like yeah definitely let's go let's go but um yeah, man man de definitely exa also introduced to me like my favorite evil writer or one of my favorite evil writers was definitely chronicle chronicle had to be the cool one of the coolest evil writers we have ever gotten like your boy had like the paul he was so broken in the beginning like the pause ability the reset ability the restart ability like he was so freaking powerful to the point where they had to make like an invincible form just to stand up to him like um uh don masamune was an amazing freaking villain yo i loved coming out of cry i love chronicle it was just one of the, my favorite evil writers of all time but um x8 definitely was one of those writers where i just had to keep watching every single one and this is when back when i was like really watching like a lot of common writer but preferably like neo preferably neo heisei writers um I started with O's and then, you know, I kept going and I was just, and I was just been going down the line. I basically just picked writers that I think that I would like, you know, and there are some writers on the Indie Rider Gush series that you won't see because I haven't seen those series, but maybe one day I'll actually go back and actually watch those, uh, see, I like, I know all the writers, but, um, a lot of writers I haven't watched. So maybe I'll go back down the line and actually watch those writers and then they can get added to the series. They can get added to the list. And, um, yeah, I'm thinking about actually doing that, but we're going to go ahead and just get done with everything that I have seen with well, writer and Sentai perspective. So, but yeah, we're almost done with um, writers uh, right now, and then we'll move on to the Sentai. But short intermission over. <laughs> Back to Comrade X8. Comrade X8 definitely um, had me on the edge of my seat with a lot of the episodes and a lot of the concepts, a lot of these forms, a lot of these suits just looked really, really cool. And you know, it gave us Hyper Muteki, and Hyper Muteki seems like it's the like it's one of the most powerful final forms of a writer ever. But then you know, Geats Nine came, and then you know, Geats Nine came out. You know, <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely Comrade X8 is definitely one of my favorite writers of all time. Um, this show definitely had me on the edge of my seat a lot of the time. You know, concept and characters was really, really dope. Um, I love how it had some kind, I love how it had some life lessons in the uh, in the show as well. Um, you know, just about every writer series does that, but I love the idea that, hey, you know, trying to tell kids and trying to, you know, let kids know that going to the hospital and hospitals aren't bad places. You know, they're there to help you. And this, uh, the whole establishment is created in order to help you. And I, you know, I love that message for children because as kids, we hated going to the hospital and stuff. So I, I, we still hate to go to the hospital now because, oh my God, that bill afterwards. But <laughs> if you go to the hospital and they help you get right, then yeah, I'm glad that XA is x8 you know through that you know through that message out there to children by showing them that right, hospitals are good places and they're there to help you and uh but yeah man uh, i really like comrade x8 I've, I've been trying to go ahead and do this you know procrastinating because other stuff's been coming out but you know we got eight we got eight episodes of come of writer gush now and we're good next writer is going to be coming writer um Revice. Revice is next. So look forward to that. He's a more recent writer. So it'll be 
a little bit more easier. He'll be a little bit more easier to do since I won't have to research that much or rack my brain that much when it comes down to writers. Um, but yeah, I'm yapping too much. I'm going to see you guys next time. You guys let me know what all the things that you liked about Comrade Exade and the things that, you know, you know, basically what you loved about Comrade Exe, who's your favorite character? What was going on with it? You know, like what was your favorite moments? What was your favorite side content and things like that? Like it because it had a crap ton of side content and movies and specials and stuff. Like Exe got a lot to offer. And I it is one of the writer shows that I greatly, greatly recommend. So with that being said, everybody, you guys let me know down in the comment section below. What did you guys think of Comrade Exe? You know, did you like it? Did you hate it? You know, let me know. And we'll see you guys next Next time, make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. As remember, as I always say, guys, stay henchened.